What is the phenomenon of superconducting magnets? The principle of superconductivity has been elucidated by quantum mechanics, but the mechanism of superconducting magnets has not yet been elucidated. However, we are able to understand the mechanism by thinking about behaviors of charged particles involved as follows. Let us consider a solenoid coil wrapped in superconductors used for an experiment on the Aharonov bomb effect. Since Aharonov Bohm effect is different in the direction of the vector potential received by electrons passing it up and down outside the solenoid, the phase of the material wave of the electrons passed through is different, and the interference fringe changes depending on the current of the solenoid. The superconductor collects electrons that move parallel to the vector potential of the current flowing through the internal solenoid where free electrons in a superconducting state are on the move. Since electrons those exercise in a superconducting state are covered by positively charged lattice vibrations, the magnetic flux offsets the boundary region between the superconductor and the solenoid coil. However, the vector potential of superconductors appears outside the superconductor. Magnetic flux density B is the result of combining the action of the charged particles that are acting. That is, the magnetic flux density does not present every information of the components. In 1986, Akira Sotomura successfully conducted a demonstration experiment of the Aharonov bomb effect. A fine donut-shaped magnet was covered by the superconductor in order to prevent any magnetic field from leaking out of the magnet. When the magnetic state of solenoid is changed, it was observed that the change of interference fringes of electron wire holography on the through hole of a donut-shaped magnet and the outside of the magnet. This is the effect of antimagnetic current by superconductivity. The Aharonov bomb effect AB effect is a phenomenon that Yakur Aharonov and David Bohm theoretically pointed out their existence in 959. Since quantum mechanics calculations can add vector potential to the Hamiltonian on motion of electrons, the theory is that different vector potentials on the path cause phase differences in the waves of passing matter. The interference fringe of the material waves appears in places where the material waves overlap. The vector potential is a distortion of the space that affects other moving charged particle at the speed of light. Magnetic flux density is obtained by a line integral of vector potential. The magnetic flux density is the result on effects of moving charged particles, and it does not describe the information of components. The energy of a charged particle at speed of v in the vector potential is given by equation 2. Since the magnetic flux density is the accumulated values due to effect of moving charged particles, it does not describe the information on each component. Vector potential is generated by kinetic charged particles. The vector potential is the distortion of the field attributes of space that affect other motoring charged particles at the speed of light. In the normal conductive state, the magnetic energy of electrons that move parallel to the vector potential is low, so electrons that move parallel are collected. In the superconducting state, positive lattice vibrations cover the negative electrons, and the action of those positive charge exhibits antimagnetic. Thank you for your kind attention.